Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to create straight lines that are tangent to arcs or circles, providing a smooth transition from one line to the next. Suppose we have a circle like this, and we want to draw a straight line from here to the circle with a smooth transition. As we draw the line near the circle, notice that the tangent point is automatically found as a snap point. By ending the line at the tangent snap point, we obtain a smooth transition to the circle. The same method is used for joining a straight line to an arc. Next, suppose we want a straight line tangent to two circles or arcs. Let's draw two circles. To create the tangent line, simply select both circles like this. And from the menu, choose Line, Tangent. Notice that all four tangent lines are created. Let's delete the two inner lines. We might want to follow up with the eraser like this. Notice that all transitions from straight lines to arcs are perfectly smooth. Now let's look at a more advanced situation. You might want to skip this portion if you're just getting started. Okay, I see you want to stick around for a tricky maneuver. Suppose we have a circle and a straight line, and we want to move a third circle tangent to the other lines. Let's take a look. Let's draw the first circle, the straight line, and the second circle. We want to move the second circle tangent to the other circle and to the straight line. First move the second circle tangent to the first circle at a snap point. Then draw a larger circle at the center of the first circle and through the center of the second circle. The center of the second circle needs to be somewhere on this larger circle since all positions are tangent to the original circle. Now take the second circle and make two copies using the repeat and nudge buttons. Move each copy to the endpoints of the straight line. Select the two circles and, from the menu, choose Line Tangent. Delete three of the tangent lines and the two circles. The circle to be positioned must be centered along the straight line as all positions are tangent to the original straight line. In order for the circle to be tangent to both the original straight line and the other circle, it needs to be on both of the guidelines. There is only one point where this occurs, at the intersection. So we move the circle so that its center snaps to the intersection point. And finally, we delete the guidelines. We have achieved our objective of placing the second circle exactly tangent to the first circle and the straight line. Creating tangent lines is a common step in designing parts. Thanks for watching and be sure to see our other videos for more useful tips.